So thanks for sitting for an interview. Um, what's your name and, and what do you currently work on? Uh, my name is Jan Abramov. I currently work on Redux, which is a Flux implementation with some functional ideas and code developer tools that are coming soon. That's it. Uh, how long have you been involved with React? I think that about a year, a year and a half maybe. All right. Um, you talked today. Uh, what was your talk on? I was talking about uh, the developer tools I made for Redux. Uh, I work on making iteration faster because I make a lot of mistakes when I develop apps and I, I want to uh, be able to work in my app without refreshing it, without uh, crashing on errors. Uh, I want to have really fast, fluid workflow. So that's something I'm trying to uh, build and share with other people. Um, in talking with a lot of uh, presenters today, uh, React's been very um, revolutionary in, in the field, and a lot of people have gained new insights into the profession of, of building software. Um, what's the, the most interesting thing that you've learned or the sh shift in perspectives that you've sort of uh, gathered working with React in the last year? I think that React really helped me understand the benefits of functional approach, and it helped me understand that in any domain, like, whether rendering or network or data mutation, what I want to do is to describe as much as possible uh, with a declarative model and push the side effects to the edge because that allows really powerful developer experience. All right, um, last question. What do you see in the future of JavaScript and React in the next couple of years? I'm really hoping that um, React is going to borrow more ideas from more traditional functional languages like LogiScript, Elm. They have really great tools and I can't wait to see those tools uh, available for React developers. All right. Thank you very much.